We had a math arcade day. Students worked on building cardboard arcade projects and they've been working on it for about two or three months. They worked with a partner by themselves in a group and they had to create a game based on a video called Kane's Arcade, building out of cardboard and innovating with it. Yeah, the stuffed animals, I wouldn't, you can try to use but it's glowing. Oh, it's so uh, those are lights. Oh, you got it. Oh, yeah. We did our own twist on it by making it a math arcade game. So students had to tie in math, either they learned or they had learned before and then to create the game and then present it for other students to come visit and play their games with the students running the arcade. You get 10 tries and, and 30 seconds and if you get all three you get a prize. We talked a lot about how everyone needed to be able to play the game so how were they going to be able to help students so that it would both be challenging sturdy and um, fun. Which three times three? Nine. The one that I really loved was um, a soccer game that students had built and they incorporated a robot. Um, so they had to use the robot to push the ball into the goal and then they had to think about how they were going to use math in the game. So I was really happy that they were thinking of ways to incorporate technology and robotics into the cardboard games. You did it! Alright, what's your mile times mile? 25. Alright, okay. I think students need um, as many opportunities as possible to be leaders in the school and to show their work. They were working in groups, they were thinking creatively, they were thinking critically, they were collaborating, and they were showing off how they were being a global citizen. 